Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video would be a bit different because I'm going to showcase five amazing stations on the Let's Play server. Starting with this one, Museum Station. I think this station was built by Kira for the opening of the Azalea CL, although it's temporarily been taken out of service right now. You can see the tracks for that line right here. Looks like overhead wires are being installed for this line. This is a very intricate design with a very nice block palette. I forgot what these are called, frog lights? And sandstone. Stripped logs, spruce planks and fences, and more sandstone. And some glass. So this ceiling design is very intricate and it won't get boring to look at at all. Let's come down to the concourse where there's a lot of other things to look at as well. So there are some blue lines to decorate the pillars. Very detailed here. And we have an interchange for the Metro Pengalu line, which is underground. If we take a look here, this is a separate station building, part of the concourse as well, part of the paid area. But this ceiling is a completely different design which fits very well with the style of the whole station. Even this light posts are very well designed with flower pots and azalea bushes. Very creative. And we have this open area here. This station itself feels like a museum already. One of the exits is called the Dinosaur Plaza, which features as you guessed it, dinosaurs. These are quite cute actually. I always enjoy seeing little gardens like this in stations because it gives it gives a peaceful and calm vibe to the busy metro that you see over here. Let's take a look at the Metro Pengalu line platforms. I think we come down the stairs here. So this is one of the tracks. This is not an island platform, meaning that the platforms are on both sides. This platform is designed similarly to some New York subway stations, where we have pillars very close to the platform edge, and more pillars in the middle dividing the two rails as well. Although the design here is quite different from the azalea section up top, the block palette here is quite unique as well. We have some more stone-themed blocks being used, for example andesite, diorite, and some marble at the ceiling. Here we have some darker blocks, and this is a nice little touch as well. Some glass fences right in front of the lift. So then when you're exiting the lift and running for the train, you wouldn't just run straight out and accidentally walk onto the tracks. The next station we're going to talk about is Clanmora St. Anne Station. This is a massive station containing many lines which includes the high-speed rail and DLR as well. The DLR platforms are hidden beautifully on the side of this hill, kind of half outside, half inside. And we have a short little platform because the trains aren't very long. Dark blocks are mainly used at this station, and I think that's a very nice complement to the bright outside and the main station building, which uses lighter gray blocks. Right next to the DLR platforms, we have a generated village here, which has an exit connecting to it. Let's go to the underground section now and take a look at the high-speed connections and the local metro routes. The floor and ceiling both use a random block pattern, and the floor uses station-colored blocks as well, such as quartz and andesite. And the ceiling is a mix of this stone brick texture. The high-speed terminal is actually integrated with these overground train platforms as well. So we've already seen that earlier, but for the underground trains, we will take this lift to go down. This part of the platform immediately gives me vibes of Hong Kong MTR stations because of the ceiling design 
and the way the pillars are positioned. Using the Jobin Klein mod, we have different ceiling variations including these two block wide panels. Because trains of different lengths run on these lines, sometimes there are signs along the platform indicating if the train is shorter than a certain number of cars don't wait here. This is a perfect example. This train right here pulled into the station, and I think it's only 5 cars, so you would not be able to board at the 10 car section. This station was constructed by Lily, and she did a great job concealing everything into the terrain meaning that there are no sharp world edit cuts and it blends smoothly into the terrain. Nearby we can see some more DLR tracks and bridges which match really well with the aesthetic of the main station over here. There is quite a complex track switching mechanism here. I don't know if this is even possible in real life. Look at this. One track branches into so many. Can't even count. I think 7, one for each platform. Good thing I'm not the one driving these trains around here, because I'd be pretty confused by this track layout. If you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also please consider supporting me on Patreon as I make this mod free for you all. The next station I'm going to feature is Yankton Station. This station has existed for quite a while on the Let's Play server, and the concourse has still not been completed, so I'm not going to show you all that right now. But this is a crazy interchange station serving many lines, and it has quite a complex network of escalators and stairs as well. Specifically, this is a 5-line interchange station, with the high-speed rail taking up one of those lines, Lakeside Mystic Line, Wanton Line, Snow Troll Line, and Snowy Line. So there are platforms down here at this level. This is a big island platform with tracks on both sides. And then down one more level, we have two island platforms. Seven and eight. And those other two platforms which are empty. I really like these little holes in the middle of the concourse because they let you see the trains down under. The station was built by Stronger, who has also been building many lines on the Let's Play server, some of which are based off on real life stations as well. So that escalator right there went straight to the concourse, bypassing this platform, so if you just got off the train from there and you wanted to exit right away, you can take that escalator, which skips over these platforms. This design is based off on Hong Kong MTR's escalator design because sometimes you want to just exit and that escalator provides the fastest route up to the concourse. To get to the high speed terminal, you have to come down here and take the automatic people mover which goes from Yangton Station, goes past the high speed rail terminal and connects to a really close by station, Yangte. I think this passageway on this side of the concourse also allows passengers to walk to the high speed station if they prefer. This escalator is very creative though, because it's a very smooth gradient, probably created by a tunnel creator by the looks of it. And the escalator goes down like that because, well, Minecraft. So this is the high speed terminal. A similar design to the Yankton station itself, but much more usage of glass and random blocks. As far as I know, only one high speed platform has been used at this moment, but hopefully more people would place their rail lines here. The architecture of this high speed section is also really well designed as well, with the big cross braces and glass ceiling. It gives it a bit of an industrial feel almost. Usually I'm kind of against the idea of making very boxy station with not very many shapes, but this station is designed really well that it's okay to have nice squares as long as it's decorated really well. Because these pillars are three blocks wide, it gives the opportunity to make detail as well. For example, the middle section is a bit indented, 
The next station we're going to look at is Layla Station. The part we're looking at here is for the sightseeing line. This part of the station is quite unique in that it's mostly outdoors, there's not a station canopy over most of the platform, and it blends in really nicely with the terrain. The block choices are very special because I usually wouldn't use these blocks for building, but this was executed really well. So there's some prismarine, some terracotta, some glass blocks, and some other stone and quartz blocks here as well. It's quite challenging to build a 45 degree angle station. Even this bridge sits at the 45 degree angle and it's really not easy to do. A part of this exit here does not go at a 45 degree angle and the effect works really well. Underground, we can connect to the Shimano MTR, the Terralith Rapid Transit owned by OTS. If we walk down this passageway, we will connect to the main concourse. Although it's a bit narrow, there's a lot of detail here as well. Glazed terracotta with some prismarine and logs for the ceiling. Even the walls have quite an intricate design with a row of chiseled stone bricks and blue concrete here. Down at the platform level, we see more unique designs on the walls of the tunnels, which gives a nice touch. There's a row of iron blocks where the train tracks are as well. There are multiple lines here, so down here we can connect to yet another line. So this line actually uses a stacked platform design. So we have to go even one more level to get to this platform down here. If I go into spectator mode, we can see how the different platforms are laid out and how they all connect to each other. Another thing about OTS's lines is that there's a lot of effort put into the tunnel design. The last station we're going to look at is Kuang Chao Station. This is the terminus of the WLT Line 1, built by BDARK. This station is actually located in the intersection of a vanilla village and a terralith village, and a lot of effort has been put in to renovating this village. The station entrance blends in really nicely with the rest of the village, that you can't really tell that it's a separate building at all. This is one of the station entrances, and there's another station entrance over here, which blends in really well with this cave and mountain over here. I've showcased this in one of my Let's Play videos, and I was really impressed by it. There is also a ferry line using this duck boat, although I don't really know where it goes, so maybe I'll check it out in another Let's Play video. Let's follow the signs and go down to the platforms. Here we can see the ceiling design uses station colored blocks and a random mix of clay and concrete and andesite. Oops, that's the wrong way. Even the windows here also use random blocks and you can see out, kind of peek at the trains and into this cave as well. The concourse isn't too big, but it feels really cozy in here. Coming down this escalator, we enter the platform level, and it looks like there are four platforms here. Although two of them are not in use, I think they're reserved for a future cross-platform interchange. I like this use of stairs in an underground station, because it makes it feel more spacious and it raises the ceiling in the middle higher as well. I also like how B-Dark used trapdoors to cover the prismarine lamps because sometimes using too many prismarine lamps can be a bit overwhelming. So I don't think any of these stairs allow you to go down, but we're gonna go down anyway because these platforms are probably meant to be terminating, so that's why people aren't meant to come down here. I like how different shades of red and pink are used at this station. I thought it would be kind of weird, but it actually works out pretty well. And also the WLT Line 1 is pink as well, so it goes quite well with the color scheme here. 
A lot of work was put into designing these tunnels. Actually, it looks like catenaries are in the process of being installed, because this section doesn't have it yet. Alright, that has been 5 amazing stations that we visited on the Let's Play server. Please join the Discord server, link is down in the description, and there are instructions on the Discord server on how you can join this Let's Play server as well if you want to check these stations out for yourself. Hopefully you also had some inspiration on how you would design your next station in Minecraft. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time!